Hello everyone. It is Thursday. It is day three of our Christmas in July and I am so glad that you are here with me. Um, please let me know that you are here. Just shoot a comment in the comments. Send me a like or a love. I hope it's a love. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to get started here in just a bit. I just want to make sure everyone can find me. So we're just going to hang out here for just one moment. There we go. All right, perfect. I see some people are already watching and I'm so thrilled with that. All right, so today is day three and I'm going to show you some fantastic Christmas cards. You are absolutely going to love these. They are super quick and easy and you can knock out all your Christmas cards probably in one night. This is just fabulous and they are just so beautiful. So I'm going to be using the Brightest Glow stamp set again. This is found in our annual catalog. So we're using that. And then we're going to be using this beautiful Christmas paper. So this paper is not in our catalog. It is one of our online exclusives. And I just want to show you real quick before we get started these beautiful designs. So we have with the little house, the little cabin, and they're double-sided. But I just want to show you at least the front of these because these are just amazing. I absolutely fell in love with these. So again, these are the online exclusives. And you can get that by going to my store. So here we have a little fox in like a winter snowstorm, it looks like. Oh, let me tell you, today, <laughs> winter snowstorm would feel fantastic. It is so hot. It's over 90 degrees, and the humidity is like in the mid-70s. But I guess I can't complain too much. We're not having the triple-digit snow, um, the triple-digit heat. And here's a little deer. I just love the scenery. Isn't that beautiful? And there's just a couple more designs. There are so many designs. So in the kit that we are making today, you will get to make a, over 20 different Christmas cards. And you're going to get to make a box to hold them in and be a perfect gift for someone or just a fantastic box for you to hold your cards in. So let's get started with our first card. Oh, and I do have an ordering special, so be sure to check that out. All that information is attached to this video, so watch for that. Again, you're going to get to make over 20 different cards. You're going to have a, enough supplies to make more. It's just a fabulous, fabulous bunch of cards. I love it. All right, so we are going to take our blue, and we're just going to simply fold this in half. Get my phone folder. All right. So now, because of the darker paper, we're going to put a piece of white on the inside. Oh, wait, we want that. Oh, you know what? I think they're the same size because we're putting one on the front and then one on the inside. And this is just our basic white cardstock. There we go, right on the inside. And then here's a piece of that designer series paper and it's all trimmed out. Um, when you get your paper, you're going to get the full six by six sheet and you'll get to cut it however you would like. So before we attach this, we want to put our sentiment on here. So for this one, I will use Merry Christmas, <clears throat> and I'm going to use Night of Navy ink. And then we will just stamp right on here. Perfect. 
Now, if by chance you were to make a mistake in your stamping, you can always go ahead and grab a piece of cardstock, either white or in this blue, and stamp it on there and just tri trim it out and put it over the top. No one will be the wiser. All right, so let's attach this. If you wanted to, you could always attach these with dimensionals. But I just want to show you how quick these cards go. There we go. So we have that. And then in your kit, you will also get a half a pack of these snowflake um, em embellishments. Now again, these are not in the catalog. These are through the online exclusives only. So I'm just going to take a couple of these snowflakes and they just wipe right off. Put one there. We'll grab a little bigger one here. Oop. There's a couple different sizes. And we'll just grab one of the small ones. And put that, where should we put that one? We'll put that one about there. So here is the first card. Quick simple easy beautiful so we're gonna make another card I have a few here that we're going to make and then I'll show you all the other ones you're going to get to make I've already pre-made them because they pretty much all go together the same way all right so we have our brown this piece will go on the inside And you can always change up your colors, what, whatever you'd like to use, but in your kit you're going to get all the same colors that I'm showing here. And then we have our little deer paper. Again, I've already trimmed it out. You will get the tutorial, and it'll show you exactly all the measurements. And I think we'll use the same Merry Christmas again. Just juice that up. And there we go. See how fast that goes? All right. We'll flip it over and glue it down. And now you're going to have some scrap when you trim this out to add on your card. So then you could take that scrap and embellish and make your envelope really pretty. All right, so then here we'll grab, let's see, we'll do the copper. I think the copper is really pretty. And again, you're going to get a half a pack of these. These are amazing. Very pretty. Simple. Love it. All right. Two more cards, and then I'll show you how to make the box. I just absolutely love, love, love this paper. So we're just going to stamp our sentiment on this one. And let's see here, what color shall I use? I will use, I can use the brown, the early espresso. And I'm only using it because there is a little bit of brown in here. There we go. And I love that the paper is double sided, so you can always use the reverse side. Now I believe a full pack of this paper is $12.50 if I'm not mistaken. And you can get that through the online store. And again, you would just embellish with some of the snowflakes. So let me get to that last card, and then I'll show you how to make the awesome box. Now, the box is big enough to where it will hold 20 cards and 20 envelopes. So it is a big box. I'll put this on the inside. 
And now you can always, when you get your kit, you could always add. You can always change things up a little bit. You could stamp on the inside if you would like. All right, so this I think we'll use Season's Greetings. And let's see, I'll get the early espresso again. And, <coughs> excuse me. All right. There's our season's greetings. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. Going from air conditioning to outside it just does havoc on the body. <laughs> so I'll just throw a few of these on. Beautiful. <coughs> oh my goodness. All right. So let's get to the box. The box is fantastic. You are going to love this. So you are going to take a full sheet of white cardstock. You're going to cut it down to eight and a half by ten. So I may have already, yep, I cut that down to 10. Then what we're going to do is we're going to score two inches on each side. So line it up with the two. There's two inches. And the last side. All right. Then what you're going to do is on the long side, you are going to cut one of the creases here. One of the score lines. So we're just going to cut. And I'm just going to make this a little wider. Because I want to make sure it folds nice. And now you could use your trimmer to do this as well. Flip it over and we're going to do the other side. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take all four sides and you're just going to press them in and you can take your bone folder and make a sharper edge. Alright, I'm going to move this out of the way, so we're going to need it again. Now you are going to want to grab your Stampin' Seal Plus. It will just help it hold a little stronger, a little tighter. All right, so then what you're going to do is put, put your box together so it goes just like this, okay? So you're going to want to put adhesive on this part of your flap. So I'm do one side, I'm going to do the other right away. And you just fold it up, get that out of the way, fold up your sides, fold this up, and then you just push them together. 
So no sense in going to the store and buying a box when you can make your own. Alright, then we'll fold this in. Fold your flaps out. Just trying to make sure it lines up. There we go. And here's the bottom. All right, so let's do the top and then we will decorate it. So on the top portion, you are going to want to score it at one inch on all four sides. So go to the one inch mark, make sure you're using your score, not your cutting. Flip that. If you do not have one of these paper trimmers, this is definitely a must have. So going along with my ordering special, there is also bonus days. There's a few days left you have till the end of the month. So you will not want to miss that. So you will definitely get more bang for your buck. With the bonus days, every $50 you order, you get a $5 coupon that will get applied to your next order. And that next order will be in August. So you'll get an email, you will want to save that code Alright, one more here. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. Fold in our edges. And we'll fold our little tabbies in. Some adhesive. Now the only thing different with the lid portion whoops, is that you're going to want to leave a little space. And I'll show you on this side. So you don't want to make this super tight, otherwise it's not going to fit on your box. So you want to just make it a little wider than putting it all together and then we'll trim those ends. super sticky. There we go. No one's going to see that end anyways. Alright, so when you put it together, you're not going to put it tight up against the end. You're going to give yourself a little bit of a space. Same thing on this side. Just like that. Then you're going to go back in with your scissors and just lay it on the top and just trim that off. And just go around to all four sides. Go to the edge. Trim that off. And one more. Now we will decorate. Perfect. All right, so here's our box. See the lid just fits on very nicely. It does go on, trust me. <laughs> I'm just gonna let, line it up. All right, so here's our box. Now, I did cut down some other sheets of that designer paper. So these were two images that I did not use in the cards. So I'm going to use these for our box. All right, so I thought this color was pretty, so I'm going to put that on the inside. So just a couple pieces just to hold it down. And then we'll slide that in the bottom. And you could try to line it up a little better, better than I did. And then, so I want this wood finish. 
on the top. So here I'm going to be a little more generous with my adhesive because I want to make sure it stays down and it doesn't curl up. And I give you the dimensions in the tutorial as to how or what, what size to put this. So here we go, just like that. And then we will wrap the ribbon around here. But before we do that, because I want to show you how these all fit in the box. These are fantastic. So let's show you the rest of the cards. So this is the, these are the ones that we made. Aren't they beautiful? I'm just going to slide them over a little bit. Here's some of the other ones that we did. Aren't these pretty? And you can zip these out in no time flat. So here are all the cards. So you get two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to get to make a total of 20. Plus you're going to get extra designer paper to decorate your box. So let me show you how they all fit. So you'll have 20 envelopes to go with your cards. I don't have them right in front of me. But they just all fit in here perfectly. So you could... Put this as a gift for someone. You could always stamp something on here if you wanted. Uh, the beauty of this is you don't really have to buy a special stamp set because you can use what you have. So, I'm going to grab some ribbon, and I know I cut way more than I needed, but that's all right. I'm just going to tie a knot. And you could always tape it down on the sides and have it just like that. Or you could just do it as a simple bow where you can tie and untie it. So we will just do the bow. And here is our box. So let me show you. I made a sample box. So I had different colors. So again, you will get to make a box and you will get to make 20 of these beautiful cards. And I hope you enjoyed the Christmas in July series. I had a lot of fun putting together a lot of these cards. I just think they are all just so beautiful. So. That is all I have for you. I told you these cards are just super quick, easy, beautiful, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So in the kit, you get to make 20 cards. You get to make a box. You will get half a pack of these really pretty snowflakes. So you'll get half of the large ones. You'll get half of the small ones in your kit. Um, the more that you... The more that you order, the more kits you can accumulate. So you can get a kit from day one, two, and three, which is today. Um, again, I have all the information in this video in the, in the link. So be sure to check that out. And that is all I have for you, lovely. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you all back here next week. All right, lovelies. Have a good one. God bless.